do uh, do your best Big B impression. You know what it's going to be. Okay, start with that, but then continue on. It'll be rule number one. And then keep going. Uh, blah, almost. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction against Up Corbin. I'm Amitabh Bakchan. I can't apparently do an Amitabh. I, if I, I bet if I listen to it a lot, I bet I Yeah, I, if I heard him similar. for just a good five minutes, I'd start to get it back in the wheelhouse. Um, rule number one. <laughs> it's not there yet. Anyways, uh, this dropped last night and we got a lot of requests for it, uh, but I was asleep. Well, who knows what time of night it was. I might have very well not been asleep, but I wasn't in any, any shape. Any shape. <laughs> I have two newborn twins. <laughs> They don't let me sleep. Um, Brahmastra, and this is the vision. Ah. And so I do believe this is um, the director talking about the concept of the Astroverse in cool. the film. So like people will awesome. kind of know what the whole what they're getting what's into. What's going on for the uneducated, uh, unenlightened like, like us? Yeah, us, the, the dumb people. Yeah, they all know this. Very dumb. It's us. It's actually probably been. The director probably thought. Those guys are gonna review it. We gotta give them something. <laughs> they're gonna go they're gonna and like, not know what the. I don't heck understand what happened. Dude, well, I don't understand what that color represented. And then we're gonna watch this <laughs> and still not know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because our stupid reactions. We is dumb. Here we go. De putts. That's stupid backwards. In these last few years, we have been building the foundation of a universe of cinema based on the concept of Astras, the Astraverse. Brahmastra Part 1 is the first movie of this Astraverse and it begins with an image from a mystical time in ancient India where a group of sages are performing deep meditation in the Himalayas. And for their meditation, the sages are blessed with the light of the universe. The most powerful and most pure energy there is. A Brahma Shakti. From this Brahma Shakti, Astras are born. Astras which have within them all the different energies that are found in nature. Fire, wind, water, earth. The Jalastra, Pavanastra and the Agniastra. Astras which have within them the powers of different animals, like the Vanarastra, which can give to the person who controls it the power of a super monkey, and the Nandiastra, which has within it the power and strength of a thousand bulls. But there is one Astra, the last one to emerge from the light, carrying its collective essence, the Lord of all the others which the sages name after one of the most powerful weapons of our gods, the Brahmastra. The sages vow to protect these astras, and, this is from the and movie, as the guardians of the Brahmastra, they name themselves the Brahmansh. A secret society which will exist amongst other men and do good for the world with the power of these astras. Time moves forward, humanity progresses, and the Brahmansh carries on as well, passing on the Astras generation to generation all the way into our world today where the Brahmansh still exists in secret. India as it is today is where the story of Brahmastra is set. I believe this puts us in a very unique position because no one has done what we are doing with ancient Indian inspiration in the modern world ever. 
and now on to the hero of Brahmastra, our protagonist, a young man who is yet to discover that in this world of astras, he is a miracle because he is an astra himself, Agni Astra. In keeping with our spirit of tribute to our roots, he is named after the god who is the most dear to me personally, the most mystical, the all-powerful and my greatest inspiration, Shiva. out <laughs> oh, that, oh. i'm so ready oh man that was great 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 video thank you for the video because uh i'm everyone else might have already known all the like, oh I, of course they've probably known it since they were kids but that's actually quite helpful i feel like the video is quite helpful very for, for specifically what we're going to be going into because obviously we know very little of the stuff we've reacted to yeah and the stuff that we retained from the stuff we reacted to uh that's basically our knowledge of yeah. Pretty you know, much the the Hindu mythology. The right? only thing the only thing we knew when we were first getting introduced to India, within the first few months, it became really evident to us that there is a wealth mm -hmm. of storytelling material in India's history, both in history and in spirituality yeah. and in mythology. Yeah. That they have stories to tell for eons. It, that, <laughs> it, it almost just fits perfectly to do a superhero thing with the uh, the epic Hindu mythology lore or whatever you call it. I apologize. I don't know the exact name um, of it. And they kind of merge together. It's kind yeah. of a... I'm, obviously, I'm very hopeful that it, that it works out and it's going to be amazing. Um, that's obviously our hope. If this is part, part of the score from the, the film, it was epic. Epic, epic score. Like it, it gave you the feels in a, just a little thing that's explaining it. Uh, so hats off to uh, our our friend, uh, <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if you did that one, yeah. but it would surprise me. Yeah, yeah, it could be. I can't wait to because I think he did it like an entire song or something. We gotta find out. If, uh, I'm assuming he would know where it is in the film, so that yeah. when it happens, we can know that's Tashar. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I need to ask him because I'm I'm super excited. I am too uh, for that. I am and too. We, God, it has to be an IMAX, without question. I, I think it will be because I think I, they said that Disney is slating this like a regular release, yeah, so, not a not a foreign release. So if Disney slates this as a regular release and they have the money to do this, I'm hoping and I would I would enjoy seeing it in 4D. I don't know. It could it could absolutely this fits for a 4D. No, I'm saying me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it might be too much movement for me in the theater. Oh, for you, I know. It might be too. I much. know for you. But I know, at but... minimum, I need Dolby Atmos. Uh, well, I don't know, actually, the way they do Indian films. <laughs> yeah, Disney. Hey, before you start distribution, which I think it's early enough, please check the sound and then tell your theaters to check their sound, please. Cool. We don't need to leave the theater with our ears bleeding. Although, please. yeah, but although the, the music does need to be powerful. It does know, need to be loud, but not, not what we've experienced in the past. Our, our, our was perfect. Talk to their distributors. Yeah. Whatever they did, it, it was perfect. Yeah. Uh, KGF2 was the loudest thing I've ever seen. So was Vikram. Vikram was not as not bad, as bad but, it was, but loud, it, was, for sure. it was there. It had uh, its moments. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, this I'm, I'm no joke. I'm not kidding. I will be bringing, just in case, because I don't want to be distracted by it, oh. I'm bringing some earplugs. Yeah, probably should. Just in case. Yeah. Because if it is loud... It's happened too much now to not. It's happened twice. You know, if now... There's no reason to not bring it just in case. Mm -hmm. And then, because I don't want to be sitting there like this, <laughs> frustrated and thinking about the sound when I need to be thinking about the movie. So I'm bringing them just in case. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. But yeah, um, so uh, it's actually interesting that they decided to release th this. Um, it's, it's, it's actually quite smart. Yeah, cause so people know, like, this is what it is. This is the story. So don't get mad if this is not what you... Think. Yeah, well, it's number one, it's educational for anybody who doesn't know. It's also clarifying for anybody who may know, but they're not knowing exactly what they're going to focus on. And the other thing is it makes really clear for anybody who wasn't aware that, guys, this was this is not a one and done. We have, we have created an entire universe and you're going to get a lot of motion pictures. And this is just the first. This is like, this would be like, 
they didn't do it at the time, but if they had, it would be like Marvel when they released Iron Man going, y'all, Avengers is coming. This isn't just a one and done with Iron Man. You're going to get the whole Avenger team. That's kind of what they're like. Get ready. I'm excited. Yeah, and we're going to get uh, Shah Rukh Khan in there a little bit. I, I think that's been confirmed now. There's rumors that <gasps> Topeka is playing an Astra and one of the, like, the, like she's going to be like one of the leads in the next one. Because obviously, is this is this Ren Beer's series or is it just the first part? Then the second part's gonna bring another part, and then the third part's gonna bring yeah. another person, and then they're all gonna combine there at the end. I'm guessing it's gonna be formatted comparable to the. It's a cinematic universe, so this is this is like the uh, this is the the the, the Tony Stark yeah. film to start with yeah. his character, and then you're gonna get standalone films, and then you're gonna get films where people are no. I'm I'm just saying that the three Brahmastras because this is. Brahmastra Part One, right? Shiva, or is, right. is that what it's called? Um, and so, what's Part Two? Right. Is is Ranbir also the star in Part Two? Is mm -hmm. it a continuation, uh -huh. or is it just like we'll, we'll let's, find out. let's say Dapika is now the right. the this whatever Astra is in that one, and then the third one is the final one, and they all kind of come together for an epic battle. I don't know. And I'm so excited because th this is such. They have the creators. Everybody on this team has to be so excited at the success of RRR. Because it has really, like, just kind of softened the the door, as it were. Everybody I know who loved RRR, when they hear another epic, massive film is coming, they're gonna go. So it's already the table is set, and if this is as good as it looks, I, uh, I'm believing, and we've felt it because we've been saying this forever. The entertainment and the cinematic value that's coming out of India is no one's doing it any better anywhere else mm -hmm. and it's time for everyone in the world to recognize it and I feel I feel like that breakthrough is is right we can taste it when RRR wins best picture at the it, Oscars it's electric <laughs> in the air I feel like we are right on the cusp of seeing the rest of the world go holy what we did three years ago mm -hmm. go holy crap I had no idea India was doing this mm -hmm. and it's about time Yep. So, I'm excited. Anyways, let us know uh, with you all about the video. Are you excited about it? And uh, anything else we should know down below. Josh!